Hello everyone, I'm Manga Kid here to give my thoughts on Iceland and Garden by Yuichi Yokoyama. Iceland is a very, very thin uh, volume of manga put out by Retrofit Comics. Garden is much thicker and is put out by Picture Box. These are separate, but as far as I understand, they are have the same characters and are technically kind of a flowing story-ish. However, um, World Map Room, which I don't own, is I think technically like the first volume of this, and I've never read that. I don't own it, um, and I read Iceland first and didn't have trouble following along. There isn't much of a story per se, there also is barely any dialogue, which is Yuichi Okoyama's style. It's mostly just kind of abstract, uh, bizarre, angular sort of art from what I can understand. I'm going to need to reread these again because it's kind of like a bizarre, like it's absolutely bizarre. Uh, difficult to kind of get the gist of with just one reading, especially how fast you read through it, because there's basically like barely any dialogue at all. Um, and the dialogue that is there is like not complicated at all, because the dialogue is not the point. The point is to look at the art. And it seems like it's basically just like these characters who I don't think have any names, exploring the world. Uh, but the world is not our world. This is like a very whimsical, but I don't want to use that word because it's not really flowy. It's all jagged and sharp and, you know, industrial almost in some cases. Uh, it's all, it's just strange. If you are looking for some Gekiga titles or alternative manga, definitely try out Yuichi Yokoyama. These volumes are quite expensive because they're from smaller publishers, uh, but they're very nice quality. And uh, like this one's got the French flaps and it's got this really cool art on the inside of the actual cover. Um, they're nice quality and there is more stuff out by Yuichi Yokoyama. I don't own any more, unfortunately. I really hope to pick up some more in the near future. It's just bizarre. It's very fast reads because, like I said, barely any dialogue. The art is interesting. It's different. It's fresh. It's, yeah, it, it's just, it's a treat, really, because it's very different than anything I've ever read in my life. And... Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it because I don't understand entirely, I think, what this is all actually about. Uh, I'll have to read through it many more times, but I just wanted to put the little nugget in your brain. If this intrigued you at all, go and pick this up. Go pick up anything by Yuichi Okayama. Um, yeah, if you've read anything by him, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, his manga, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See ya.